Michigan connection to Russian meddling in the 2016 election. It's all emerging tonight. The feds say two of the 13 Russian operatives charged in a new indictment gathered intelligence right here in Michigan. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel standing by live at the FBI field office in Detroit. And do we know why they were here at all? Well, Stephen, it might be possible that the two were here to lay the groundwork to gather intelligence ahead in how to meddle in this election. It was more than two years before the 2016 election when they were here in Michigan, according to this 37 page indictment. And what is said in this indictment is pretty clear that Russians tried to sow distrust in one of our most sacred democratic processes. A grand jury indicting 13 Russians for trying to interfere with the 2016 U.S. presidential election, allegedly through an online troll group linked to the Kremlin. The stated goal of spreading distrust towards the candidates and the political system. Using what the Russians self-described as information warfare by weaponizing social media, denigrating certain candidates like Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz and Hillary Clinton, while promoting candidates Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders. But the interference didn't stop with the web. The Russians also recruited and paid real Americans to engage in political activities, promote political campaigns, and stage political rallies. The Russians, according to the FBI, posed as grassroots activists with participating Americans unaware they were working with Russians. That could be what two of the Russians were trying to do in Michigan, listed as one of nine states visited by Alexandra Krylova and Anna Bogacheva in a 12 day span in June of 2014 to gather intelligence. It's very possible that the Detroit field office could have run some leads for them for the special prosecutor's office. There's no doubt about that. Former FBI assistant director Dan Roberts says based on his time working day in and day out with special counsel Robert Mueller. The only thing I can read into the tea leaves is that there's probably a lot more coming because director Mueller uh, will not stop until he has a conclusion to this investigation one way or the other. Now, also, there's a lot to unpack in this 37 page indictment, but it's of note that there, those rallies that you heard being discussed in there, that there was pro Trump rallies before the election, but also anti Trump rallies afterwards. So really trying to sow distrust in our institutions here in America. That is absolutely clear based on the allegations here in this indictment. Reporting live in Detroit, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right. Thank you so much, Brian. We're